आज ही डाउटनेट ऐप डाउनलोड करें डाउटनेट पर होगा अब आपके सभी मैथ्स केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स और बायोलॉजी डाउट्स का सफाया बस अपने क्वेश्चन की फोटो खींचो उसे क्रॉप करो और तुरंत वीडियो सोल्यूशन पाओ डाउनलोड नाउ हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम द क्वेश्चन स्टेट्स अ फ्रेट ट्रेन लेफ्ट द स्टेशन एट 12 नून गोइंग नॉर्थ एट रेट ऑफ 50 माइल्स पर आवर एट 1 पीएम अ पैसेंजर ट्रेन लेफ्ट द सेम स्टेशन गोइंग साउथ एट अ रेट ऑफ 60 माइल्स पर आवर एट व्हाट टाइम वर द ट्रेन्स 380 माइल्स अपार्ट एंड देन वी हैव फोर रिलेवेंट ऑप्शंस टू दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन राइट सो लेट अस लुक एट दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन ओके नाउ we have in the question been given that there is a train moving north which is traveling at a rate of 50 miles per hour so i could say 50 mph and there is a train which is going south from this station let us consider this line as the station which is going south at a rate of 60 mph the only difference is the time that which they leave so this train actually left already at 12 pm which is 12 noon and this is about to leave at 1 pm or one hour after that now if i say that at 12 pm this train has now left what happens after one hour okay after one hour that means this train has actually traveled a distance of 50 miles because it can travel at a rate of 50 miles per hour or i could say this train which is going towards north which is the freight train right it is traveling still at the rate of 50 miles per hour right speed does not change and this is the station this is the distance of 50 miles so let me not i will not label it over here okay and this train is going at a rate of 60 miles per hour towards south and it has not started but it will now start because since 1 hour has already elapsed but if i ask you what is the distance between the train right now it is 50 so i'll say that d is equals to 50 over here and d initially was 0 at 12 pm but at 1 pm after 1 hour has passed the distance has increased to 50 or in order to get to a distance of 380 what remains is 380 minus 50 which is equals to 330 very easy right so only 330 remains the distance to be covered okay now that means at 1 pm now it is 1 pm okay it's 1 pm because 1 hour has passed at this point of time both of trains both of the trains will actually start to move now so as both of the trains start to move that means now they will be going against each other at a velocity of 50 miles per hour towards north and the train at 60 miles per hour towards south or i could say that they are going against each other away from each other right so what is the relative velocity of them going away from each other nothing but this plus this because they they are going away from each other so we can simply add both of these velocities so what i'll have 50 plus 60 which is equals to 110 mph right and the distance which remains is 330 miles so i could say that the time which is remaining to cover this distance is nothing but this distance by the speed or which is because So this is equals to 330 upon 110, which is equals to nothing but 3 hours, right? So 3 hour post 1 p.m. this distance of remaining 330 miles will actually be covered because by formula we could actually say that speed is equals to distance by time. Or here what we have used in this case we could say that time is equals to distance upon speed. Simple, right? So After 1 p.m., we have calculated that 3 hour more would be required. So 1 plus 3 is equals to 4. So time would be 4 p.m. when these trains are actually finally 380 miles apart, right? And upon comparing with the options, we actually see that this matches with option B. So we see that the correct answer to this particular question is option B, which is 4 p.m. And these trains will actually be 380 miles apart at 4 p.m. in the evening. That's it guys thank you for watching the video Class 6 to 12 se leke NEET IIT JEE mains aur advanced ke level tak 10 million se zyada students ka bharosa aaj hi download kare doubtnet app ya whatsapp kijiye apne doubts 8400400400 400 400 par